Finally, a Connemara house, which is part of Movie Legend, is expected to be recommended for listing as a protected structure by Galway County Council. The Quiet Man Cottage, owned by an American resident, is quite literally falling apart, but campaigners worldwide hope it'll now be saved. Our Western correspondent, Dermot Fleming, has been to visit. I'm standing in probably the most important location in Irish cinema history, for it's here that The Quiet Man was made. Over there lie the ruins of the cottage made famous by Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne. It now lies in ruins, but plans are afoot to have it listed and preserved by Galway County Council. This stunning scenery was the vision of Ireland brought to the world by Hollywood in 1952. But at the cottage, which was the movie centrepiece, sheep now wander where Hollywood moguls like director John Ford once roamed. The massive campaign by Quiet Man fans at home and abroad has successfully petitioned Galway County councillors who voted to list the cottage as a protected structure. 8,500 signatures which included that of Maury and O'Hara is thankfully what the councillors seem to step up and listen to uh, and realise that there is a huge demand uh, worldwide to, to have the cottage restored. You know, it's a major icon of Connemara. Um, it captured a snapshot of Ireland in the 1950s, a bit like the uh, John Hind um, postcards. You know, it's just a, a point in history that people hold very dear, and especially uh, the diaspora abroad. The house may have global fame, but parts of it are worldwide too, with souvenir hunters from far and wide taking bits of it home. Listing the house would make this illegal. Bits of this house, I believe, in America, Japan, Germany, Scotland, England, all over the world. I think people they have felt so much for the film and for the cottage, the White Amorn itself, that they wanted to have a piece of it. I suppose it wouldn't be thievery, it would be just uh, die-hard fans. Kong County Mayo, where other parts of the film were made, attracts huge tourist trade from its legacy. For Quiet Man fans, however, the house remains the missing jewel in Ireland's tourism crown. The heritage of the Quiet Man is big in this part of Ireland, like this recently commissioned statue of Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne in a scene from the film. But it stands in stark contrast to the dilapidated state of the cottage, and it's hoped that the listing, if it does happen, will change that. Dermot Fleming, Ireland Live, Kong, County Mayo. Home Eric. Well, that's all for now. We'll be back for Ireland Live at 10, where as well as all those stories in more detail, we'll turn our spotlight on the insolvency service and be joined by Labour TD Pat Rabbit. For now, though, have a very good evening.